What's up y'all? I'm Andy Story with Poster Grind and today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make a template for movie poster billboards. A little background on me. I'm an art director and I've worked for numerous agencies within Hollywood. I've worked on productions from the Avengers to TV shows like Westworld. This tutorial is specific to building a template in Photoshop. These dimensions are what we use in a professional setting and as you'll see it's really easy and once you have this template built you can always go back in, pull it up, drop it into Photoshop and use it as much as you want. <laughs> so. what? Okay guys, let's go ahead and build out our billboard templates or template. And the first thing you do is open up Photoshop, head on over to new file, and then in this window, hit up the print document. And now we're going to input our dimensions. So right now we're going to start out with 29.5 inches wide and 8.25 inches tall. And the reason being is because we build these in a smaller size so that we're able to create a bunch of artwork and not have to worry about slowing up our computers. Once your artwork is decided upon by the movie studio, then it will be taken, your file will be given to a finisher and the finisher is going to upgrade the resolution according to the specifications of the billboard company. So for now, all we need is a 29.5 inch width with an 8.25 inch height. And then we can drop our resolution all the way down to 150 and keep the color mode at RGB. Go ahead and hit create. And right now we have our initial starting point for our billboard. Now go to your rules, make sure your rules are on. You can do that by hitting Command R to toggle on and off. And we're gonna be placing guides on each of the four corners. And you'll see why we're gonna do this because it's gonna be easier for us to make a safety slash bleed layer later on. But for now, make sure your guides are on each four corners. And then right now we're going to head up to image canvas size and increase this canvas size by 0.5 inches on the top and sides and then make sure relative is checked and now hit okay and then you see the little black spacing that has increased our edge or our sides by 0.25 inches on each on each side, each each of the four sides. Now let's go ahead and make a solid color background, making it white. And then we're gonna go to our rectangle tool and build out our rectangle, which is going to turn into our movable guide, which is gonna be our topmost layer so that it is on top of everything that we build and we kind of know where a bleed or safety area is going to be. So from here, our rectangle tool head up to the top here to fill and get rid of the fill where you'll see this no color cross out. And then where it says stroke, we'll go ahead and make a teal color, which is usually pretty nice for our guides. And since that's really fat and obtrusive, let's go ahead and drop the pixel size of that stroke to Let's just put it at three. That's what we have it on our other templates. Hit enter and there we go. Now you can toggle that on and off and see what it looks like. Or you can toggle your guides off by hitting command H, get rid of that. And then you see your layer that's gonna be dedicated to your bleed. And now it's kind of up to you on if you wanna keep your guides in place. I usually, you know, depending on what I'm working on, uh, they do come in handy and you can always add another guide. So like if you wanted to, you know, guide up the middle of your billboard and because you, you wanted everything centered, that's totally cool too. And you can always move them out of the way by hitting your V key and just get that out of the way. So that's the guides. Now all I wanna do for this template is organize it so that it's ready to go every time I need to build a billboard for somebody. I don't have to redo this uh, and everything will be organized. I totally forgot to mention this, you guys, but if you found this tutorial useful, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and that way you'll be notified the next time we have some amazing movie content available. Thanks. And the first thing I wanna organize is the typography or the type grouping. So go ahead and hit T and let's call this title. I wanna change that to some black type just so that for the purpose of the tutorial. And then I'm gonna hit Command T and transform and just make that a little bit bigger. And I don't like the light style size, so let's just put that at heavy for now. And that's just our blocky title 
piece. Now we're just gonna turn this into a group by hitting Command G and we're gonna title this type. And of course we can add other typography or pieces of type that are gonna be necessary for your design. Usually that is gonna be copy. So we'll make a little copy. And this is just to remind you, uh, you don't have to do this necessarily, but it just helps a little bit with your organization and knowing what you need to do, especially if you're just starting out in po poster design. Uh, it'll just remind you, keep some room for copy. And then of course, we're probably gonna need the date. So let's make a little date area, D-A-T-E. Actually, we're gonna drop this to the left of our composition. And then sometimes you're gonna need what's called a pedigree. And we'll put the pedigree on the right side. And of course, this is all dependent on what your client slash movie studio is gonna want on their billboard. But for now, we're just gonna keep it simple like that. The next grouping we're gonna want is the art grouping and that's where, oh, actually, let me rewind. The next grouping is gonna be your effects grouping. And that's where you're gonna do a lot of your, you know, can it can be anything from coloring, color grading, uh, to certain effects, to sharpening, blurring, uh, whatever needs to be happening on top of all your artwork. So let's open up a new layer and then Command G, and we're just gonna call this Effects. And now our effects group is ready to go. And below that, like I was saying before, is going to be our art group. So make a new layer, Command G, and call this art. And this is where all your photography, your assets, who knows, whatever you're building is gonna be in the art section. And that right there, my friends, is how we're going to keep our template for now. And every time we open this up, oh, we should mention how am I gonna save this? And this is just a way for you to stay organized, going up to file, save as, obviously you can name this as billboard template or whatever, but let's say you're working on an Avengers movie and you wanted to stay organized and you're gonna build your client five different billboard designs. What I would do or what your creative director or art director would probably want you to do is name it by the, either the name of the movie or the code name. For today's example, we're just gonna call it Avenger, Avengers space, and then your initials, my initials are AS, and then what number uh, design this is, and this is 01. So usually this will you know, keep you organized. Obviously everybody's a little different. This is what I usually do. And now I can go ahead and save that and I'm ready to rock and roll for this Avengers billboard in the next four, five, or six, or however many I need to build. So there you go, guys. That's an easy way to build a billboard template, and when it's ready to go to the printer, they will have other specifications. If the movie studio likes your billboard design, they will then have your agency give it to the finisher, and the finisher is gonna touch it up and deliver it to them and or the billboard company. There you go. Thank you guys so much. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you are interested in looking or interested in learning all about movie poster design. See you on the next video.